long time ago, and I recognized the drawing was mine. That's because if you draw and you have some good story behind the drawing, you may remember the drawing for better pictures of Lucy. So I put her into different pictures. Here is Lucy, and she's in the wood, and I painted this bird, and I like to look at this picture and think, okay, I wonder what will happen in this picture. Do you think Lucy knows the, uh, the bird? Do you think they know each other? No? I don't know. I, I like to look at it from time to time and think about the new story. So if you have any idea, you can talk to me later on, yeah? And here is Lucy again, and she talks to Bull. Now, does it remind you any story you may know about him? Exactly. When I finish, I know it's, it's a picture about her writing book, but I know that the girl's name is Lucy. So you can imagine what will happen if the wolf will come and says, Darn me, where your granny lives? She would say, ha ha, you get it so wrong. I'm not red riding hood. I'm Lucy, and I won't tell you anything. So there is a picture about Lucy and the wolves. And what's the name of this picture? Okay, so I can show you some very old drawings I did, and this is my very old book, which I did, was my very first book. And I did it when my daughter was born. It's now 17 years ago. Yeah. So when she was born, I thought, I will do book for children, and I will do book about colors. And I thought, what else should be in the book? And then I thought, when I was a little boy, I used to go to my artist's cottage, and every morning I would be woken up by little flies. Do you know these flies which are flying in your bedroom sometimes when you are holding in class or something, no? And they always sit on your nose, and you can't, you can't sleep any longer. So I thought, I will do a book about flies, because nobody likes flies, but flies can be quite fun, because they can, well, they can do things you can't do. Flies can fly, and they can sit on the ceiling. Who can sit on the ceiling? <laughs> it doesn't work like that. So here it was. I did a picture of a fly. And the fly was flying in the kitchen, playing funny games, like sitting on the ceiling and seeing things upside down. And then the fly can sit in the fruit bowl and the fly can guess what fruit it's red. I thought I have to do something sweet. And then what fruit is orange? And what fruit is orange? And every time, every time in my book, every time when you turn the page, you can get an extra color. So you can, so the fly can learn all the colors in the fruit salad. And then the fly can fly somewhere else and play a different game. And I thought, this is quite a good idea for the book. So I sent it to the people who publish the book, for people who make the books. And they said, we quite like the idea. And we like your drawings. Should, it's, 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 big, it's bigger than rubber. Should we have more? It's a budget. Hello, Badger, she said. I'm looking for a bigger house for me and my uncle. Can I come and live with you? I'm sorry, Barbie Badger. And I stretch out on my cushions all day, snoring a lot. And I don't think there is room for both of us. Perhaps not, said Little Mouse, feeling rather weary and still hungry. That evening, she came across an enormous hole. This must be big enough for me and my uncle, she thought. Hello, is anybody there? She shouted. Who can live in the cave like this? Do you think it's a bear? Oh, hello, little mouse. Crown, the huge bear. Why don't you come and live here with me? Uh, no, thank you, screamed the little mouse. I think the cave is a bit too small for you and me. 
and my uncle, as off she ran. Just like this, yeah? And you can cut out the windows. And then the funny cupboard, the toilet. Exactly, and then you get upstairs and you go. Just like this. And maybe 